Hey everyone, welcome back to another moving vlog. This one will be a moving vlog. Time is 7.52 on a Saturday morning. As you can see, I am tired. I just got a call, well, not just got a call, about 7 a.m got a call from my delivery driver who's delivering my Ikea stuff bearing in mind they text me the night before to say it will be between 8.30 and 12 well I suppose they're just letting me know that it's going to be from 8 but 7am I have my alarm set for 8 so I would have been up anyway but he called me I didn't answer it because I was like soundo I heard my phone vibrating and then he left me a voicemail to say that they're going to be here between 8 and 8.30. So I'm up. I got myself up. I got myself a coffee. And I'm just waiting here for my IKEA delivery. So yeah, this video is going to consist of doing up the spare bedroom. It's just going to be a matter of putting furniture up really we haven't decided on painting that room yet um, I think the best option is to just keep it white especially as it's going to be kind of like my filming room dressing room that sort of stuff and yeah there's just a few furniture pieces that I'm gonna put up with you today and just make it look a little bit tidier because when I show you it later on it's just a bit of a dumping ground at the moment. I've actually got a now appointment at nine. So I'm gonna go there and then when I get back, we're gonna crack on with the spare bedroom. I've ordered those chests of drawers that I showed you in one of the vlogs before. So if you watch my vlogs regularly, then you'll know what chests of drawers I'm talking about. But um, yeah, I ordered them once and I'm gonna to attempt to put them together myself. So, wish me luck. I am actually quite good at DIY. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I am. <laughs> um, believe it or not, I don't look like the sort of person that would be good at it. But I've learned a few tricks and tips over the past. So, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to put it together. Even though it is quite a big chest of drawers. Oh, I'm so tired. Anyway, so yeah, this is just a little intro. I'm gonna drink my coffee, it should be a bit warmer now, a bit cooler. So yeah, I hope you guys are all well. And um, yeah, I guess the next clip you'll see, oh, I'm, I might put you on, on the tripod, because I don't know if they're gonna like, well, I don't know how many boxes we've, we're getting delivered, like how many boxes that chest of drawers come in I know it does tell you on the website doesn't it I suppose they just put them in my porch they ain't gonna take them upstairs are they and we've also ordered some hangers and a frying pan because the frying pan if again you watch my previous vlogs you'll know that the one we did originally buy from Ikea just went all funny and just looked awful so we took that back, they actually returned, uh, refunded us for that, which was great. And we've ordered a new one from Ikea, which is like a stainless steel one. So hopefully that one's better. So that should be coming in today's delivery, as well as two sets of hangers, because I've got piles of clothes up there that I have no room for in my wardrobe because I've run out of hangers. So yeah, and Harry's the same. So he'll have a pack and I'll have a pack. I think, I think you get eight in a pack. So yeah, I can put all my clothes away. And yeah, that's it. But yeah, I'm gonna put you on a tripod maybe for when they get here and um, see how that goes. I, oh, what? that was my belly rumbling if you heard that. Um, I feel a bit awkward staying in my pajamas when I have delivery. Does anyone else get like that? Like. Maybe I should just put a dressing gown on or something. Because I just feel a bit like awkward opening the door in my PJs. Anyway, 
yeah i'm gonna go now and i'm gonna drink my coffee because i need to wake up right so i'm kind of glad that that's calm and that's like out of the way because now i can go and have my nail appointment come home have some food and then crack on building that so in a way it's kind of good that it's come early so yeah i will check in with you guys when i'm back from my nail appointment so i'm back from my nail appointment and i'm ready to crack on with the spare bedroom so this is the before it's just been used as a dumping ground really there's just random bits in here my dressing tables in here uh, where I do my makeup and obviously my big mirror which you would have seen me unpack a few vlogs back but yeah as you can see there's a ladder there there's frames that haven't been um, un unwrapped there's a fan there's a curtain pole there's the da the spare dado rail that we had for the paneling there's books down there it's just a bit you know a bit too messy so yeah, we are going to transform this bedroom. So I've actually bought a little clothes rail for my hauls that I'm going to be doing. So I've decided to buy a rail. I think it would look really nice if I put all my clothes on the rail when I do my hauls. I got that from Dunelm. It was £30. I've got some hangers to go with it as well. I've also bought a radiator cover for this radiator, which is downstairs. It's just a plain white radiator cover. So I'm gonna put that together. To be fair, that might be a tomorrow job because I don't know how easy this chest of drawers is gonna be because they're quite big. And the chest of drawers are gonna be going on this wall here. So I think it will look really, really nice when it's done. Or even there, hmm. Cause I'm just thinking like when I do my hauls and stuff, because I want the window to like be on me for the good lighting. I might have the rail here and then the chest of drawers there. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to play about with it. Um, hopefully they're not too heavy to manoeuvre. But I'm sure me and Harry will be able to do it. So yeah, this is this room. So I'm going to start tidying up and basically taking all the crap out. And so I've got plenty of room to kind of build those chests of drawers. And yeah, I'm gonna get cracking, so let's do this. I've just chucked on this oversized t-shirt with some black leggings because, oh, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm like putting stuff together or like, do you know what I mean, getting stuck in, I wanna be comfy. So yeah, this is my attire for this video. Bit effortless, sorry about that, but comfy is key. Anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd show you my outfit, so. Let's actually crack on because I am procrastinating now and the time is nearly 12 o'clock so I really do need to get a move on. Okay, I think this is enough space to do my building. So now I need to bring the boxes up, which are quite heavy. I've tried to lift them and they do feel heavy. I think the smaller ones I could probably do, but that long one I might struggle with. So, and I'm at home on my own at the moment. But Harry should be back anytime soon. So I'm gonna to attempt to bring them up on my own. Girl power. Oh, 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 oh,
Ta-da! These are what the chest of drawers look like. So we've just, Harry just put that on top there, but it is going on there, but I'm, I'm gonna take off, you know, I'm gonna rearrange it and I'm gonna get a lamp for it and um, put some books on it and just, you know, dress it nicely. Size of the drawers are really, really good. They're really deep and quite wide. Obviously you get six. So yeah, even Harry said they don't look like Ikea. I mean, they were more of like their higher price range furniture. So I guess that's why, but, and they were really, really easy to put together. I mean, Harry did the drawers and I did the kind of shell of it and it was super easy. So definitely, definitely recommend getting these. Now we're gonna start putting together the clothes rail that I bought for, you know, my hauls and stuff. Should be pretty easy to put together. I mean, we're pros now, aren't we, Harry? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna put this together and then that will probably go like there. So when I do my hauls, I've got kind of like part of the chest of drawers in and then part of the rail in. And then like we said like about getting a plant in the corner and stuff like that. And then obviously this side is just like... It's where it needs to go. Um, why? You need like a... I know, but I would maybe. like to get a wall this mirror. But I'm worried that what if I want to change it around? and I am finally doing the spare bedroom reveal. Don't really know why it's taken so long. Um, I guess I was kind of, I was hoping to buy more bits for this room if I'm being honest, but I just haven't found the right things yet and I just don't really want to buy stuff for the sake of the video. Do you know what I mean? I want to buy it properly and I want to, I want to do it properly and make sure what I'm buying is what I actually want to have. I don't want to rush into it. So a part of me does feel like I kind of failed at this video really because I feel like I haven't completed the bedroom. But it is a massive difference from what it looked like before. So I guess, you know, it's kind of a transformation, but it's not quite complete yet. But if you watch my regular vlogs, um, or if you watch my vlogs regularly, then you will see any updates of any new things that I get. But I will reveal the room to you as it is now. So this is the completed spare bedroom at the moment. I still haven't got a light shade for the light. Prime example of not complete. And I haven't got a lamp, which I said that I wanted. But let's just focus on what we do have. So, I mean, as you can see, the chest of drawers, which you watched me build. Um, like I said, they're super easy to build. Highly recommend getting them. We haven't actually filled them yet because if I'm honest, I don't really know what to put in them just yet. There's definitely stuff I want to put in them for sure, but I'm just not quite sure what yet. And same with Harry. So. I'm sure at some point we will fill them. But yeah, I mean, let's just talk about the top of this. So I do really want a lamp here. But like I said, I haven't found the right one yet. Who'd have thought it'd be so hard to find a lamp? I know, but I just, you know, I think because it's going to be in most of my halls, I kind of want it to be, you know, like a, like a nice lamp. I don't just want to buy any ordinary lamp. So... I want to find the right one and I just haven't yet. And then I've just popped on our photo book in the middle. I am probably gonna get some more like decorative books. Sorry, this camera's gone out of focus again. There we go. So yeah, I do want to get some more decorative books, but 
again need to find them need to find the right ones but for now that one can just st stay there this you would have seen in the video already um, I've just added my big candle on there from Primark so this is from Primark um, this is Diptyque I think that's how you say it this is from a, a gift from a friend it's just a cute little candle and then I've also got my body candle there as well I really don't want to light any of these because I do think they are really nice how they are but who knows I might do it one day and this mirrored tray is from Home Bargains a little while back so I don't know if they still have it so yeah that's the tress of drawers you know which I think look great but I just need a lamp the lamp is very important and then moving around to the radiator cover we actually did uh, put this up the same day as we built these I did film it but I didn't include it because I just feel like there was already enough building going on in that in this video so you didn't really need to see us putting a radiator together radiator cover together but it was super super easy the one that I bought for the flat which I put up last year had the long slats so the ones that go like that and I had to put like individually put them on whereas this one because they're that way you just get like one piece of wood which is all do you know what i mean you just screw it on it's so much easier so if you're going to get a radiator cover i highly recommend getting the ones that go is it vertical no horizontal i just got this off of amazon i believe and i think it was about 35 pounds i want to say i'll link everything in the description box for you um well anything i can link i will link the vase is from primark love that little little find in primark those flowers are just from my work which are still looking half decent <laughs> and then moving around so obviously you guys would have seen the mirror already the mirror is from dun elm and then here we've got my dressing table, which is from Ikea. And I've just kind of, I mean, I haven't really done much to the dressing table. As you can see, it looks the same as what it did before. I've just basically put that vase, which had my pampas grass in it. I put that on there, but I put different plants in it. So then plants are actually from the range but i've bent them up like that because they're really really long and they're like metal inside so you've got like it's impossible to cut them unless you had something really really strong so i've actually bent them upwards but i mean that little thing has got stuck in there this doesn't look the tidiest because it's a clear vase but it will do for now until i maybe my dad can bring something around so i can cut them so yeah, that's that. I think that looks really nice. Books there, they, they don't really belong there, but I just haven't found a place for them yet. I still need to read this book. I bought it before we moved actually, and I just haven't had the chance to start reading it, but I really, really want to read it. And then underneath is just my little notebook. I do love a notebook. And then that candle is also from Primark which I got a little while ago. It's just a linen scented candle. So here I've got my makeup mirror, which Harry said looks crap in here now. So I don't really know what to do about that. I did look at getting a round mirror to put on the wall, but I just don't know. I'm really indecisive at the moment. So I guess I'll do a bit more thinking and see how I feel. But this mirror is actually from b and I got it a little while ago, but it's quite a decent size one, isn't it? But yeah, not too sure about that. My chair is from Wayfair. It's just a grey chair with that kind of like quilted back on it. And then I just, thing is, because it's grey, it doesn't really go because I kind of wanted to get rid of the grey for this room. Um, I'm kind of going for like, I know the carpet's grey, so that sounds silly, but... I'm kind of going for more like a white, black and white theme, I guess. And like neutrals, but not really grey. I don't know. Does that make sense? Probably not. But the chair's grey. So what I've 
but what I've tried to do is cover it with a fro. So this fro is actually from Primark, actually. Um, really, really nice and soft one. And I thought it just looked good over the chair. I mean, it's only a thin fro with like little tassels on it, but it does the job, you know, until I decide to get a new chair, um, it can just go on the back of that one for now. And then moving round to the clothes rail which i said um, is for my hauls so i'm hoping to do some more hauls maybe next month i'll start doing hauls again because you know there are some people out there that love a haul and i do miss kind of my fashion side of my content because i've really let myself go i haven't really been dressing up much lately it's just been a matter of bunging anything on because I've just been so busy. So I'm really excited to get back into my fashion content. So I thought, you know, the row thing looks kind of profesh and organised. So that is from Dunelm and that was £30. And then I'm thinking also to get a plant there. What do we think? That'd be too much? Because think about it, you'll have the lamp plant maybe it might be too much maybe i could get a plant for there not sure again <laughs> super indecisive and then obviously you know do we paint the room do we keep it white i thought we could keep it white because you know it's nice and bright for filming and content so yeah that's basically the spare bedroom I'll just give you a proper view from right in the corner here there we go. So I am happy with it. I mean, if I put a picture over the top here of what it looked like before, I mean, it looks much better, doesn't it? It just looks a lot more tidier. Oh, the uh, radiator cover, because it's slightly like off center. I mean, it doesn't match. It doesn't line with the windowsill, does it? So Harry was like, you should have bought a bigger one to like come here. So it's in line with the windowsill, but I just didn't really want to get a lot. Like I didn't want to clutter this area up. So I just got a medium and obviously it sits more that way. And he was like, oh, that looks really weird. But I don't know. I mean, a part of me is like, oh, that is kind of annoying. But then the other part is like, do you know what? I really don't care. Like, it's not that much of a big deal. So, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that in case any of you guys are thinking of it. Um, but yeah, this is the spare bedroom for now, so I will keep you updated if I buy anything for this room. It will probably be in one of the vlogs that I do. I'm actually going to HomeSense this week, so maybe I'll find something in there. Who knows? Yeah, this is it, and I'm happy with it, but it just needs a few more touches. I'm just editing this video back, and I forgot to mention that I want to add some wall art for above the chest of drawers. Because if we're not going to paint the wall, I think wall art would look great. If you have any recommendations or anything, I'd love to hear your ideas. But yeah, that was one of the things that I really wanted to mention and I completely forgot. So I'm on the hunt for wall art. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off this vlog. Like I said, I'm sorry that it's not like fully completed. But I hope you understand that I just don't want to buy stuff. Like rush and buy stuff for the video because... Yeah, I just don't want to do that. So I hope you enjoyed watching the bits I did film. And um, like I said, I'll link everything in the description box if you see anything you like. Hopefully I can link it for you. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I will see you all in my next one.